This goes beyond simple treason now. This is heresy. The King, your pirate Zek, and Lieutenant Commander Varvak have both played a role in Empathy's demise. It must be found and eliminated. I understand the gravity of the situation, Supreme Commander Badami. Do you? Do you really? Were it not for you going behind my back, this entire event could have been avoided! Forgive me, sir. I could not have known what the pirate would do, both before and after his actions. I don't want excuses, Orna. I want Zek and Varvik's charred heads on a platter! This fleet's honor! My honor is at stake, and you are the one who allowed the Fallen Serpent to flee from the battle! If they escape entirely, rest assured I will not allow my position to be compromised because you couldn't carry out a simple order! Zek's close quarter slip space jump was unprecedented, sir! Such a gambit was suicidal! I could not have known he would ever attempt such a foolhardy action! Even if he did somehow survive the jump, his ship is more than likely severely damaged. He will not be able to escape Halo anytime soon. Time is not on our side. The parasite spreads with every passing hour. What is taking you so long to track their slipspace signal? The jump severely damaged our ship. We will need repairs before we can attempt any pursuit. We estimate it will take several hours to- UNACCEPTABLE! If your ship is incapable of pursuit, you will relocate to a new vessel. One suitable for tracking the Fallen Serpent. Take one of our corvettes, track Zek to his slipspace exit coordinates, and begin the search! He has no doubt moved on from his current location by now. Every second you waste, he gets farther away from us! I shall do as you command at once, Supreme Commander. See that you do! Supreme Commander Vatami, we've received word from a stranded battlecruiser on Halo, the Truth and Reconciliation. It is heavily damaged and unable to make orbit. The surviving crew report that the Parasite is swarming them in droves. By the gods. What is the strength of the enemy's numbers? Legion, sir. Many of the infection forms have already breached the vessel. They fear they will be overrun! We must stop the Flood from taking the ship. Prepare a special operations team for deployment. That will take time, sir. The Armada and our battle net are in complete disarray. There must be some way we can slow the Parasite down, assist our embattled brethren! Launch what remains of our converted forces. Drop every single one of their pods on the Truth and Reconciliation's location. Deploy the most deadly of their kind in particular. They are our best hope at stopping this infestation before it consumes us all. Any major combat or defensive operations are now over. Priority now falls on keeping the Flood from escaping this ring. The humans, the journey, nothing else matters until these monsters are annihilated! Told you, fuck the all hell! Our nav systems are fried, half our weapons have lost power, shields are practically gone, the infirmary is filled with wounded, our fuel cell is cracked, we're leaking coolant in several compartments, and as if that wasn't bad enough, most of our icor cases have been broken clean open. The cargo hold is flooded with the stuff now. Well, that sucks. Especially the last one. But at least the cloaking device is losing power and about to die. That was only half our problems I just listed. I didn't even mention the biggest one. We blew the slipspace drive. Blue? Uh, shouldn't we all be halfway to oblivion right now then? Why aren't we dead? When I said blue, I didn't mean it exploded. I mean it won't start up again. The ship was heavily damaged, and not enough coolant was getting to the slipspace drive. When we jumped, we overheated the particle accelerators. 
They melted, fused, and cracked the cyclic shaft. We actually came out of slip space earlier than expected because of it. We should have jumped past that mountain we hit, not scratched our side against it. And uh, now we can't activate the thing again. Okay, whatever. We can fix it. No, we can't. We don't have any Huragok, and the amount of time it would take for us to fix both the slip space drive and the rest of the ship is way too long. We'd be here for weeks. The Covenant will find us by then, or even more likely, the Flood will. We need a new slip space drive now. Without it, we can't escape the Armada, and even if we did, we'd be limping through space for centuries just to get to the nearest place that would replace it. So, essentially, Zek broke the ship. Hey, it was either that jump or getting a volley of plasma torpedoes up our asses. Don't blame me for saving our collective behinds. It may have been our only option, but it doesn't change facts. We are stuck on Halo now. We're not going to get out of this system on our own power anymore. We can start repairs to make this tub spaceworthy again, but everything else is going to take time and manpower that we don't have right now. Only way I see we're leaving now is if we get a tow. All right then, gather up some of the boys and let's go get us a tow. We can head out. Find one of the Covenant ships and take it by force. Then we can just tow ourselves. Good idea. Big problem. We don't have enough men to take the kind of ship we need. To get out of here, we need a ship at least as big as ours. We simply don't have enough people still standing to both take and operate a second Corvette while also fixing this place up enough that we don't have to worry about it breaking into pieces the second we activate the stolen ship's slip space drive. Can't we just move everyone to the other Corvette once we grab it? Some of our people are critically injured. We can't move them in this state right now. We'd risk killing them. Besides, we can't grab it anyway. Even with your Batarians backing us, we just don't have the firepower to take the entire vessel. All we have are two Phantoms that weren't damaged during the fight. He can probably sneak some of our people onto a ship with a clever ruse. They won't be able to make a second ship outside without the enemy blasting them, however. Meaning we can't even bring all our forces to bear. If we had more transports, maybe, but we don't. And I'm not abandoning this ship either. The Serpent is our home. I'm not leaving her behind. What are our options then? <sighs> to be honest, I got nothing. How about just keeping our heads down? The Zengeli and Vadami have their hands full with the Flood after all. They'll have to call off the search at some point. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. It's all over the battle net. At least what I can decipher since it's a mess now. That second bomb we flew into the Seeker of Truth. It killed the Prophet of Empathy. <laughs> Serves the fucker right! May you rest in pieces or ashes or in a pile of shit, I don't care! Oh man, this is the best news I've heard all day! That putrid little loudmouth has given his last sermon! If only I could see how his face looks. I bet it's all messed up in shit like this! Yeah. I don't care that he's dead, but the fact that we've killed him is the worst thing that could have happened! We're marked men now. Before they were just going to kill us. Now they're going to make it a spectacle! Yeah, yeah, the prices on our heads just went up. I get it. Just let me revel in it a little. I need this. It's been a crappy day. The point is the Covenant isn't going to just let it slide. We're now a priority target for Vodami. He has to kill us or risk the repercussions of letting the murderer of a prophet get away. You know how the Singeli get on about honor and all that. He can't let that happen. He will scour this ring to find us. 
We need to come up with a way to get out of here fast before he finds us. And he will find us if we just sit around here preening our quills. We may have a little time with the Flood making things difficult, but it won't last long. What if... we could find more manpower? If we could get enough reinforcements, would we be able to make the basic repairs faster and steal the ship to tow us away from Halo then? And where would we find these reinforcements? Commander Shepard and the other humans, who else? Uh, considering we've been trying to kill them for a while, uh, I'm not so sure they'll be keen on helping us. I may not like Commander Shepard's ideals or what he represents, but I know who he is. He's always been vocal about building bridges and the like. Never shuts up about it, in fact. He also wouldn't want to risk leaving soldiers he's fought the side behind. His little frigate can't carry them all, even if their numbers are depleted at this point. We just have to convince him of our intentions, and he'll help us. If only so what is left of his comrades will make it off this ring alive. And if we appeal to him, he'll make our case to his human friends to help us out? I'm positive he will. They may have some quibbles about it, but given the choice of dying on this ring with the undead monsters, or escaping alive with former enemies, they'll choose the latter. Well, sounds as good a plan as any. We need to find him first, though. Any idea on how? He's probably looking for a way off this ring himself by now. I'll try to scan the airwaves. Maybe we can pick up a transmission from him or a clue as to where he might be going. It may take time, though. Make it fast. We're on the clock here. <laughs> 